All right, let's talk about obstacles. Let's talk about the obstacle you're probably going to run into the most as a player in the game. It's injuries. It's a part of the game. The best players deal with it. The least experienced players deal with it. And I want you to learn how to deal with it like a pro. Torn and Diggins is going to have season-ending knee surgery. In a statement released within the last 30 minutes, Diggins saying, quote, I'm focused on getting healthy and stepping on the court even stronger. I'll continue to support my teammates in every way possible. When you're injured, what most players do is they remove themselves from the team. They go and sit on the side, they ice, they feel badly for themselves, they tend to lose motivation. And so they don't have anything to actually give away to their teammates while they're injured or after they're injured. I want to flip the script for you and share with you three wonderful opportunities that you get when you're injured. Here's the first one. It's a wonderful opportunity to improve your competitiveness. Every player, every coach wants a competitor, a dog, and most players aren't very competitive because they haven't gone through enough hard stuff. When you go through hard things, you become more of a competitor. Injuries are hard things. Embrace it, work on your mental toughness every single day, and establish the discipline to fight that injury. Fight for the recovery, fight for the rehab, fight for your mind every single day while you're injured. Here's a second opportunity to grow something to give away so that you actually have it. The second thing is, be a great teammate. The best, Steph Curry recently was injured, broke his left hand. The day after he broke his left hand, he's on the bench giving away energy, celebrating his teammates. The, his character, that's the kind of guy that he is. Uh, he's always been a team guy, so humble. Uh, but he's, you know, for me personally, he's over there, you know, giving me pointers. You know, he's a great teammate and uh, he loves to see us succeed. It's an opportunity where you don't have to focus on yourself. You can zoom out and focus on others. And here's the third thing you should do when you're injured. It's an opportunity to improve a skill. No matter what the injury is, there's an opportunity to improve some other skill. I was at the gym in the chair shooting on a gun, like ball handling in the chair. Just like pounding to my right arm burn, pound to the left, crossovers in front. So it really helped. And it was just like every day I did it to keep myself busy and know that I was doing the work. If you have a hurt ankle, you can improve your upper body strength. If you've got a hurt shooting hand, you can work on your offhand ball handling and offhand finishing. If you've got a, an injury that keeps you completely immobile, you can work on your mind and study film and study the greats. This is an opportunity because you have more time and more energy to focus on your weaknesses, where when you're not injured, you're just focusing on your strengths. See these obstacles as opportunities and operate as an all-star injured player. I'm Tyler Costin, and that's your tip.